So here, here's here's where it, where it goes. I feel like a lot of people like be like, oh, partials this and partials that, and they're all against partials. But I feel like with partials, it takes away the anxiety that I have about collecting the full body. For me, the biggest part that turns me off with full body dolls are the position of the the, the limbs. And the body, the, the, uh, what do you call this? You know, what do you call it? I forget, I'm forgetting now. Anyway, it's the torso, you know, all of this part, well, all of this is like the part that normally sculptors struggle with and that throws the baby off for me. So, and they normally, cause they're used to doing, you know, like kits arms, legs, head, those are usually nice, but it's like, man, why did you mess that part up? You know what I mean? So to when I get a part to get a partial, it's like it's a win situation, but then not if the partial is gonna be I don't know. But anyway, um I want a full body sleeper. Or it can be a weight, but I want a newborn baby, very newborn, very, very newborn, not fat, you know, not, I don't want a mean, angry one. I want a calm, peaceful, cutesy, newborn baby. And I haven't found it yet, you know, um, with a realistic body. And I know that's a lot to ask for, but, you know, that's what I want. And so I'm just, I got to condition myself to stop settling and pacifying. And I usually buy these in-between babies or buy something to get, just to get me through. And then I end up not wanting that doll when I finally find the one that I really wanted. Or either I've got my money tied up, so tied up in all these in-betweeners that I can't buy the baby that I really want when it comes out. So... I am being disciplined enough to say, hey, first of all, stop looking above your means because you can't afford these other dolls, so stop it. Um, you can look at them, you can love them, but watch other people get them and enjoy it from afar. And I'll be honest with y'all, I know this is something y'all might not want to hear, but to be honest, I really don't get as much enjoyment watching your babies as I do mine, that's a lie. I get more enjoyment watching my babies in my arms than I do yours. But I say that in the nicest way possible. But I'm not a person that like a hater. Like I can't I can be happy for you. Now I will get over excited if you're genuinely excited and I can, you know, read that energy. So I'll be like, oh my God, that's so cute. Like I can be so happy for you guys. I won't be sitting there like she made me sick. I wanted that baby. You know, I'll, it's not that type of attitude, but the whole, oh my God, girl, I'm so happy for you. I'm, I, I get just as much joy out of watching you and your baby that I do my own. Uh, that would be a no. And then the whole, um, oh, I feel like it feels like I'm getting a baby. Now that part is true. Because you get so hyped up and excited. But here's the letdown, honey. When they open that box at their house and not at yours, girl, you be like, okay, then reality it in. It's not my baby. But the whole time while your friend is getting a baby or, you know, one of the YouTubers or Facebookers or Instagrammers be getting a baby and you be watching them building up their excitement about getting a baby, you be like, oh, my God. And then you just be so excited about it. So that part, I believe, is true. Now, I'm just speaking for myself. But the whole part talking about I enjoy your baby as much as I enjoy mine. No, ma'am. I'm not finna even tell you that lie. That's just like saying, oh, I enjoy, you know, these million dollars money as much as, as if it was mine. No, no, sir, buddy. That's a lie. I'm just being honest. So, yes, I love the babies and I want to see someone get them that genuinely want them and excited about them. But... It would be nice if it would, you know, it would be even nicer if it was coming to me. But since it ain't, I'm going to be happy for you, sis. But, um, yeah, I got to start looking at my own.
thing. Now, I'm going to tell you what is kind of exciting. Now, this is a, a very complex situation when you say this. I get excited when me and my friends have similar babies. Similar. Notice I said similar. Like, don't go into a replica, please, honey. Can you please, please go see the Wizard of Oz for a brain. Like, not the exact same. Don't go to the same artist and say, give me. That's why there are some artists that I really like work that I will not buy their work because they paint the babies the exact same way every single time. And that just irritates my whole soul. So, but when we be like, Oh, you got a um, you got a strawberry kid. Me too, girl. And then they be doing their videos. I be like, oh look, strawberry look cute with that outfit on. I ain't think she could wear them kind of outfits. Oh, let me go get her some of those little outfits. You know, not the same print. Or maybe we might twin it one day. But that's that's when it be fun. Cause you know you got all y'all got the same thing. So when you talking about stuff, you can relate and so on and so. But, child, when you go and you be like, okay, make me a baby just like Serena's. I want the mole in the same spot. I want a birthmark where she got hers. And that scratch right there, make sure you put it exactly in the same spot. Girl, listen, first of all, that ain't even real. Because even if we had, we had the same baby daddy, our baby's going to come out somewhat different. Okay? So... For you to be talking about you want the same one. Mm, girl. Uh, girl, that's a little creepy. But, you know what I mean? Like, that's what people be like. You know. And I, my thing is, is like, my job here is to influence. So, if you, if you like what I like, then that means I'm doing something good. So, I'm good on that. But, it's just like, don't. There's a difference in inspiring and copying, and that's a whole nother subject. But I left that junk in too many 20. Child, do what you do. If it makes your, your whole heart sing, that's fine. But I'm just telling you, my heart ain't singing with yours. Because I'm just telling y'all. But anywho, like I was saying, what was I saying, child? I got all off the subject of... Was I saying something but I stopped talking about this baby that I've been searching forever, girl? I got on my own nerves looking for this baby. And every time I get one, I think it's like I was so hyped up on this one baby. And I was, oh, I was this close to just t snatching the money out and just going and buy it. And it just broke my heart. I'm still not over it. I need to get over it, but I'm still not over it. And I keep thinking to myself, well, you know, maybe I could just put a diaper. No, I know me. I'll get that baby here and it don't look realistic to my eye. I don't care how good it look in photos, how I can pose it, how I can disguise it. I have to look at that particular sculpt. And I am a sculpt person. I like the sculpting on the dogs as much as I do the painting. So when I first started collecting silicone and collecting dolls, I didn't really, I wasn't as in tuned in sculpting. I was just excited because, you know, from Walmart to these dolls, anything is realistic, more realistic. So I was just really excited about that. And I didn't realize what made me really connect to the doll was the actual sculpting because there would be times like something just ain't right with this baby child i can't figure her out but then i realized like and i would first thing i would do if the baby had really nice hands and feet i noticed that, that would draw me in all the time so i realized it was more about the sculpting and that's why i tell people all the time they'd be like what is your biggest inspiration for painting the sculpt my inspiration come from the sculptors. My inspiration come from the sculpt. I am inspired by what's the canvas. You can, I cannot paint a tree and make it a baby. I need the sculptors to do their part and give me something fabulous. And when they give me something fabulous to work with, it inspires my mind to drift off into La La Land. I see a real baby in front of me and my eyes just can place the color better versus, okay, this look like this should be a nose, but it's not really a nose. So let me figure out how a nose should look. You know, it's just too much thinking. It, it throws you out of, when you paint, you in this zone where you just kind of like, you don't hear nothing around you. You lose all sense of time. You, 
I mean, like your brain just shuts off. Like once I start painting, I'd be like, I'm gonna paint for just, I'm gonna just paint this one little thing. And But once I start, I mean, I sat down painting for two hours and don't even realize that I've been working that long. Now, mind you, yeah, you doing different parts and stuff, but the whole time your mind is in that zone. And so you don't really think, think, if if that makes sense. Like you're not really thinking, thinking, but if the, if the sculpt don't look realistic and it's, you know, like not really, there's nothing realistic about it you got to think. So now you don't turn off your art side of your brain and you thinking and it just don't flow as nice when you just have to overthink things. If that makes sense. I don't know. It may not make sense to y'all, but anyway, child, let me go. But I'm going to upload this video first before I upload the other video. I don't even remember what I said on the other video, but y'all will hear it backwards. And don't mind me popping my lips and stuff, because sometimes I just be, whoo, child, y'all just be getting me all in my feelings. All in my feelings. Feelings, 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 feelings. All right, chop, chop. Um, Listen, I need y'all to be great in 2021. Listen, don't, don't, don't fall for the okado. Don't go chasing a hype. Y'all be around here. That's another thing y'all be doing. I'm just trying to let y'all know early. Let's start the off right. Let's be honest. Child, listen. Some people just may not even want to be dealt with me in 2021. Because my nonsense level is down to here. But some of y'all need to stop chasing the hype. And find what you really like. Or what's really drawing you in. What pulls you in. It ain't gotta be what I like. You may don't mind. You might not mind if a baby don't have a realistic body. You might just be all about face. As long as it's got a cute face or hands and feet and you could put it on clothes, you might be okay with that. So don't let what I like change your mind. Like what you like. Because that's at the end of the day, you the one gotta live with it. When them cameras shut off, when you're not on the grounds for likes, unless you're doing it for the likes, if you're doing it for the likes and you're doing it for the clicks and views and all that stuff, then do you, baby. Then you know your purpose. Then you doing what you want to do at the end of the day. You following what's popular to bring you the clicks and the likes and the views. So if that's your, that's your end goal, then that's it. But my end goal is to get a doll that I truly enjoy the sculpting and the art of it and that I can be my best me in my painting on it if that makes sense girl look at them hands baby them hands be talking they be all over the place yes honey yes you know you know when that girl start doing that down right there she bought it she's serious girl you know y'all know what time it is you know what i'm saying yes 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 <laughs> Baby, when she put them handcuffs on, <laughs> y'all know it's a wrap. <laughs> Bye.